Hello, everybody. So I've seen a bunch of videos on YouTube talking about EDC, everyday carry. And this is pretty much my everyday carry purse. Um, it's big. I can fit a lot of stuff in it. And so I pretty much wanted to talk about all the things that I, I walk around with. Um, now, the days that I do carry my gun in my purse... I know, I know, I know, guys, okay? I know that y'all think that someone's going to possibly have a chance to steal my purse. But unlike most people, my purse is its own weapon, okay? Like, this, this is probably 40, maybe 42 pounds, okay? And so, when it's on my shoulder... And someone tries to snap it. It goes right into there. I lock it. I grab it. I grip on both hands. And then I hit them in the face with it. And they're just being hit in the face with a 40-pound bag. Most likely, they're, they're not going to do anything. But if they want to try to struggle with me, that's okay. Um, I'm a tough chick. So, everyday carry bag. What's in the bag? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let me show you. What? Okay. So, the first, you never know when times are going to get dark. I have a flashlight. Wow. You never know when you're going to need something. Your flashlight. So, it's always good to have a knife. USCCA Expo last year, 2017. Me and my husband got one of these for free. Pretty freaking sweet, yo. I want to see a flashlight. Pretty freaking sweet. I want to see a flashlight. Not right now. Okay, so. You push the button. We got some hair ties. Because a girl is always going to have to put her hair up. This bad boy right here is my iPad. Now, some of y'all know the story behind it. But my iPad is cracked. But it still works, so I'm not getting it fixed. I'm not replacing it until it grips out on me. Um, gotta have my planner, nope, book, whatever. Um, for one of my businesses. That's a knife. And let's see. I love Nightmare Before Christmas, so of course I have to have another little notepad in case I want to make some notes on something. Bubble. Stop. Um, I have some S3 supplement support for natural hair growth because this girl likes to have some colorful hair. Um, so I'm going to promote some hair growth. Uh, I'm a cheap girl, so I like the Equate version of allergy medication. Uh... I've got Tardot's sunglasses in my purse. Why? Because I stole them. That's why. Hand sanitizer. A lighter. Let's see. Debit card. Hey. Lots of business cards. More business cards. And relive business cards. Whoa, knocking stuff over. Let's see. In case one flashlight doesn't work, you always have a spare. More hair ties. Uh, donate plasma. They gave me a little deal of wet wipes for travel. Let's see. More hair ties. So far, I've got that many hair ties in my purse. Because I can never find them. Nail glue. Because these ain't mine. There's a book. Power of the Praying Wife. Wallet. Of course, it's going to be Nightmare Before Christmas. Another book. Chicken Soup for the... Woman soul. Receipt. 
receipts, pen, another pen, lipstick. Actually, it's a lip stain because your husband is not going to want your lip stain coming out. Another pen. Vix Sinus Relief right here. Tweezers. Keys. Pepper spray. Great thing about my pepper spray is it does disconnect. Now, for when I am in the car. Alright, another hair tie, lotion. Because you always want your hands to be small, or soft, small. Okay. So, for when I am traveling to the range or something, this is the bag that I have my, my gun in. Um, I also carry, where did I do that? Oh, it's over here. <clears throat> I can snap this into my purse, and it's an easy pull out. Um, for those that like to just have it in their purse, this is also another great option. Um, but if somebody tries to steal your purse, this is going to be a hassle. I, I don't know if you know this, but no one's going to wait around for you to unzip this bag. Um, but I wanted you to know that there are options. So for me, I like it because a 380 fits right in that little pocket. You zip it up. I can put a mag in here. Um, but I have all of my stuff in my purse, so I wanted my kids to not really be able to go in and grab it. Um, so I have the bag. Now, if I'm in the house and carrying the 9mm or something, that's in my, my bag. Um, or my little zip case, whatever you want to call it. I call it a bag because it pretty much looks like mine. Now, for this, you slide it in, get it nice and tight in there, and this little deal goes right over your hammer, and then those little clips will hold right there. having difficulty putting this one in because I'm not on the actual hook okay so with this I will show you all inside those hooks are placed inside those two pockets so with that in there the tablet goes back make sure I can stick this all in there back the way it was wallet Good Lord of mercy. Really? That's all. All right. It's not one phone, it's the other. Don't these people have something to do? Job or something? Quit bugging me. Okay, so with all of that in place, put my pills back. So I got allergies, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. I've got like the ugly allergies where my face starts getting all puffy, my nose starts running. Because. I'm allergic to animal dander. I am allergic to cat saliva. Um, I had a cat, but I had to make sure I bathed my cat a lot. Um, but someone stole him, so I no longer have to worry about bathing a cat. Um, just in case one of these wants to explode, I'm gonna put the Let's back on them. Okay. 
tees and sunglasses and Star Dog's not getting those back. He really is not. Those are mine for the taking. Okay, so that is everything back in the bag. Let's see if I can show y'all. Everything fits nice and neat. Pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Um... Now, a lot of people will sit there and say, oh, you shouldn't carry your gun in your purse because someone can steal it. Yes, that is that is a big risk. Um, but sometimes when you're when you're having to carry a kid or two or you know somehow manage to carry three, having something on your side is going to um, interfere with your gun, especially when you have a wiggling kid. It's not going to be comfortable. Something's going to be digging into your side. Uh, so the moms out there that carry in their purse or diaper bag or something like that, I totally get it. I have carried in my purse. I have carried in my diaper bag. Um, it's really all what you're comfortable with. Um, I honestly don't know of a story of anybody trying to steal someone's diaper bag. So if you're a mom of a small child, put it in your diaper bag if that's what you're comfortable with. Um, and these these little bags, you know, they're they're great for transportation. But if things should ever take a turn for the worst. You're going to be causing a lot of attention trying to get to this bag to get inside your gun. So make sure you have something that is easy to get to. That is why I suggest having your holster like I have where it is just snapped into two pockets. Make sure that it's secure. It's not going to be flopping around. It's not going to come loose. And make sure it's easy access. So if someone tries to steal your bag, you can go in, flip the little uh, stretching material. I, I'm not really sure. Your hammer fabric. I, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all speak Jesse? Yeah. Okay. Um, make sure that you can get to that and you can pull your gun out easily. Um, because I, I don't know anybody that is able to see into the future. I, I personally know that I was not blessed with a gift of um, being able to know what the hell is going to happen. So I, I like making it easy. So if something should come up, I can protect myself and I can protect my kids. Um, if you are going to the gun range, these bags are great. If... You're putting it in a suitcase. These bags are great. I really like this bag if you're traveling. Um, I don't know how a lot of states are, but for ours, it just has to lock. So, you have a little bitty lock. You hook it in through here, and you hook it in through the zipper. And right there, it's locked. You're not going to be able to unzip this at the airport. Um, excuse me, are you being nice right now? Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound like you're being nice. Being nice. <laughs> Can you flip that back over so Sissy won't climb on it? I can flip on here. Flip it back over. Put the toys back in it, please. Put the toys back in it because she is going to try to flip it over. Sorry, y'all. It's Thursday and kids are acting like they have no good sense. No good sense at all. Uh, Lord have mercy. It is one of those Thursdays. It's just one of those days in general. I don't even think it could just be a Thursday. It's just one of those days. New month, new attitude, you know?
we love our kids, but when people sit there and they're like, oh, have kids, it's so much fun. Those parents have been drinking a lot or smoking some of that wacky tobacco because there's days. It's not fun. Not fun at all. But then there's a lot of days where they just crack you up. They give you a look, like the look that you give your spouse. And you see your kid give you that look and you're like, uh, I know you ain't looking at me all crazy. Uh, have you lost your mind? Yes. Yes, they have. They've lost their absolute little bitty mind. So, welcome to the chaos of motherhood. It's wonderful. Mama needs a drink. And I'm out of whiskey. I have to open up a mason jar of moonshine because it's just one of them days, y'all. It's just one of them days. So, you know, if you're a woman, you want to carry in your purse. Uh, if you're a woman like me, your purse weighs probably 30, 40, sometimes 50 pounds. It depends on if I have my stuff and the kids' stuff in my bag. Um, hold on, y'all. Hey! I didn't have to tell them to go to the room. They're going. Get roll around containers, y'all. So much fun. So much fun. Hey! Little ones. Riley. How about you take that to your room? Take the container to your room and Sissy will follow you. Just get it from her and take it to your room. Hurry. Yeah, have, have kids, they said. So much fun. Lord of mercy. Y'all pray for me. Pray for me because my kids going to drive me crazy. I'm going to have to re-dye my hair soon because I'm going to have just a whole bunch of gray hairs just popping out of my head like all over. Just all over. Philo, what is in the, or what is in the purse is a question I learned to avoid many years ago. Um, my mom went to pick up my purse one day and she said that she was going to throw her back out because my purse, it's, it's a big one. And so it weighs probably 40, maybe 42 pounds today. Um, this is just my stuff in my purse, y'all. So, uh, when I have my kids stuff in it, it can weigh about 50 to 60 pounds, uh, I can't tell you how many times I've gone to clean out a purse and I find tissues or toys or uh, diapers that they pulled out of the diaper bag, packs of wipes, uh, desitent, like miscellaneous stuff that don't need to be in my purse. That's what we have a diaper bag for that goes in my purse. Um, toys, cars. Uh, my favorite is finding the little Hot Wheels cars because I have pockets in here. And so my son, if he thinks he's going with me, he'll fill up my pockets while I'm getting ready and zip them up. And then I'm sitting here like, why is this so bulky? And I unzip it and it's got like 10 cars in it. So, yeah, when it comes to my kids putting crap in my purse, it, it can weigh a little bit more than what it usually does but for the most part it weighs about 40 to 42 pounds um which when i carry my gun in my purse not only do i have a weapon in my purse but my purse in fact turns into its own weapon because it's it weighs so dang much i need a what backpack you need a mountaineer backpack don't play with me i would totally like carry everyday carry a backpack if i could do you know how much stuff I could fit in a backpack? I wouldn't have to have a diaper bag. I just have a backpack because that'd be my purse and the diaper bag all in one bag. I could probably fit all my makeup in there too. And my hair care stuff. Man, I need to get one of those just for my job. That'd be cool. Where I get them bad boys at? Amazon? Or is there a store that I gotta go to? I don't want to go to Bass Pro Shop. 
I mean, I like Bass Pro Shop, but I really, today's Thursday. I just want to stay at home, be lazy, drink a whole bunch of coffee, do a whole bunch of live videos because I don't want to have to edit anything. You know, I'm, I'm in the lazy mood today. Um, I want to do some craft projects today, but I just, I just don't have the oomph for it. Probably need more coffee, y'all. Probably need more coffee. My mama was here. She'd sit there and be like, uh, Jesse, that sounds like you're being ugly to my grandkids and God don't like ugly. Um, I'm not being ugly to your grandkids, mama. If you're watching my video, I just don't feel like doing a project right now. Go to a climber shop so they can fit it properly. It makes a big difference. Climber shop. Climber shop. I don't know where a climber shop is, but I'll Google it. I will Google it. Hold on. Let me get my, let me get a pen out. I hope this pen works. And I stole my husband's hat, so I put my patch on it. Cause what? That's what kind of life I am, y'all. That's what kind of mountain climbing. Okay. All right, hold on. It's a mountaineer backpack. I feel like I got a sneeze. There's actually like a rock mountain climbing place in Frisco. That might be good. Philo, that would be freaking sweet if I could get me one of them backpacks. I'm gonna be one happy girl. Do they have them in pink? What's up right there? That's what's up. Hell, yeah. That's even better, man. You get me a pink backpack. I'm going to be a happy girl. Happy, happy girl. I'm going to be like Phil Robertson. I'm just going to be like happy, happy, happy. I gotta go look up some mountain climbing shops. I hope they have some clothes. They don't. I'm driving a few hours to find one. I don't even play with me. I don't even play. Put it on my. I would love to have this list. open. Pop open. Alright, there it goes. Right. Woot woot. Okay. Mountain climbing. Oops. Might help if I could spill right. Mountain. Mountain climbing gear. I really like the rock locks. Um, I have probably eight of them that I use for just miscellaneous stuff. And uh, I've got the big chunky ones that I put on the stroller to hold diaper bag purse, stuff like that. Uh, I can't remember who it was, but somebody said... Rich White said that you were creating a hostile work environment. What? By doing what? On the video I had before. Oh. Are you on YouTube or? Yep. I am looking up 
a mountaineer backpack because Philo is hooking a girl up. He said that I could get rid of a purse and a diaper bag and just have a mountaineer backpack. I could put everything but the kitchen sink in one of them things. You would still probably need two of them. I don't think I like your attitude, mister. I love my attitude. I don't. It sounds a little hateful. Well, I love myself, so that's all that happens. It sounds a little hateful. Better rewind that attitude before I fast forward your butt whooping. What are you doing? What is your major malfunction, Private? Oh, okay. That's what it is. What? I don't know. <laughs> well, you're not very helpful. Uh -huh. Alright. I got all that the hair done, y'all. I'm getting a headache. See all my frizz going on? See my hair? You ain't my real daddy. You ain't my real daddy. I'm a grown. I can't finish that. Never mind. I'm trying to be family friendly. Is it working? Oh, and hi, guys. Yeah, don't be, don't be unsocial. I mean, I don't want to get butt hurt. Who is it? Is it Rich and Nodak and? Uh, let's see. I don't know who's watching, but Philo is. Well, that's what it is. Who, who's watching? It doesn't tell you who's watching until they say something. Yeah, but that's just. Silly. Okay, hi, Philo. Yeah. I'm gonna have to give him some act right because he's being unsocial. You gonna jump in on my video and have. The don't make me start self promote. Listen. Don't make, me, don't make me go two bit content creator up in this. <laughs> <laughs> two bit content creator up in this thing. Okay. He's walking away. So, if anybody is just tuning in, I have a really, really awesome husband. His name is Tardot. You can go check him out on YouTube at Tardot357. Like, share, subscribe. So that better give me some brownie points so I can get this backpack. Bye, Philo. Thank you for that. I am looking it up right now because I need me one. Hope you have a great day. So now that I know where I can find these things, I am trying to find one that's local. Uh, because my EDC is going to expand if I have a bigger, um, if I have a bigger carry bag, let's just put it that way. Bigger the bag, the more I can carry. And a Mountaineer, uh, backpack, is that what it was? Yeah, Mountaineer backpack. I could, I could put a whole bunch of stuff in that. Yeah, whatever, Tardot. See, I can talk trash from here, too. You know what you can do from there? You know what you can do? Starts with an S. Ends with a T. Two words. Two words. Let's see. Where do I find the local shops? Like, I see a bunch of crap online. Um, let's try Gear Express. I don't know where that's located. Um, I have a feeling it's not going to be close. I'm not even finding a place for fine locations. Well, that just stinks. Not cool. Not cool at all. Um, I like to learn. That's not the kind of learning I was wanting to find. Mm. 
Yeah, I think that one is. Just there. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Got to find one that is a actual location. I want to get fitted for a backpack so that way I can fit more stuff. Uh, local shops for the backpack. Uh, yeah, Tardot, keep up. Shop down Beltline. May have it. Does that mean we're going? Like right now? You want to go? You want to go? I do. Come on, let's go. Mama wants to check out some backpacks. Hey, Riley. Go tell Daddy Mama needs a backpack. Oh. That's what I get. Oh. It's your son. Your son, Tardot. Climbing gear near me, that works. All right, climbing gear. Um, okay, so there is South Summit Survival Camping Store in Richardson. It's 3.4 miles away. Woo, woo. REI camping store in Dallas. Whoop, whoop. More places. You know I gotta have more places because this girl really wants one of these backpacks. I will totally get rid of my purses um, if I could have one of these backpacks because I could fit a lot more stuff in it. I really could fit a lot more stuff in this thing. It would be awesome. Sounds like a whole bunch of attitude. Whole bunch of attitude. Aria and South Lake. I don't think I want to travel that far. Where is that? It's like 27 miles. Mountain Sports is in Arlington. I don't know. It sounds pretty cool. Mm, I wouldn't go to Dallas on a bet. And Dallas ain't that scary. Dallas ain't nothing if you can drive through it. Just sit there and honk at people and flip them the bird and you're good to go. Pretty much how everybody drives. Uh, I guess I could go to Dick's Sporting Goods. I don't know the Bass Pro Shop would actually fit me for one of those backpacks, though. Donna Rock Indoor Climbing Center. I don't want a center. I want a place that actually sells it. I think I just need to go buy the biggest backpack that they have. Because then that way I can fit a whole lot more stuff. I don't know. Give me some more of the little lock hooks. Rock locks, whatever they're called. I use those things for everything. Because they're awesome. Mm.
that's pretty cool. So, I'm going to hop off here, and I'm going to look up some places for Mountaineer backpacks. Try to find me a pink one, because I need it to be pink. I'll settle for purple if I don't like the pink. I don't know. I may end up picking a totally different color, but who knows? Have a great day, Jeffrey. Um, thank you, everybody else who's watching. And uh, we'll see what we can come up with at the mountain climbing shop. This will be interesting. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.